Well, the South African Communist Party has ended its 14th Congress by resolving to contest the elections. The SACP's second Deputy General Secretary Chris Matlako says the Communists will contest elections. The exact modality in which it will happen still needs to be determined. SACP leader Blade Zamane says the party would meet with its alliance partners to discuss the resolutions adopted at the Congress. It's not the first time that the Communist Party is discussing the possibility to contest state power in the context of advancing the ideals of socialism. Not in so much about its difference with the African National Congress. A much about how does it influence society in terms of ideals of achieving socialism tomorrow. So it's not the first time. There have been many conferences of the Communist Party, congresses of the Communist Party, many of whom have acknowledged that that view has always been subjected to further discussion. So it's not the first time now. So those who are historic, who are celebrating what may be, uh, in their view, a demise of the alliance or a demise of the ANC. Unfortunately, I don't think they are being correct in terms of their analytical tools. For the ANC, a Communist Party is a reliable ally. We need to sit down and understand the context within which that decision is taken. But most importantly, what does it mean in terms of the call to re reconfigure the alliance, the call to unite the alliance? Because arising out of a successful NPC, the National Policy Conference, is that we must, which we focused on organizational renewal, we must build our structures, we must strengthen the alliance. To what extent this call, therefore, advances the ANC, but also make sure that it does not undermine the political hegemony of the ANC society. We must understand what then are the issues that are raised. Because the issue is that a divorce, it means we have got nothing to do with the partner necessarily. The Communist Party says we will contest state power for obviously ideological reasons, not because it is in flight, it is in contrast with the ANC in terms of uh, frogging and taking the strike forward in terms of national democratic revolution. Firstly, our resolutions say we may or may not contest uh, separately in the context of a reconfigured alliance. That is why we are talking of a roadmap which also will be informed by the kinds of engagements that we have. So, allied formations contesting elections independently does not necessarily make an opposition. <coughs> That's not where we are at this point in time. Remember, we are an independent political party. And also, you will recall that not even you recall, you say it here. The manner in which the alliance functions must change. <laughs> Reconfiguration that we are talking about. Uh, we need to discuss that a little bit. Firstly, whether the alliance as a whole in principle agrees to that. Reconfiguration. If, if there is agreement, then we are able to sit and engage and say, okay, well, how would that reconfigure the alliance? If then the, the alliance doesn't agree, then it means the future, if the alliance actually hangs in the balance. United Democratic Movement leader Banto Olomesa has questioned whether the SACP is really going to contest the 2019 national and provincial elections alone or whether its announcement is merely a stage-managed ruse. The UDM says that in order for the SACP to prove that they are serious about this plan, all the party's cabinet ministers, members of parliament and legislatures as well as councillors should immediately resign to prevent access to government funds and resources to bolster their campaigns. The SACP uh, says they are going to run elections separately and we are saying they are benefiting uh, through the ANC, they are like parasites. They are benefiting from the ANC, and now if they are no longer going to contest election under the banner of the ANC, but using state cars and so on in the meantime, preparing or building their party, why must we trust them? So I suspect that uh, this is nothing else but a uh, first uh, strategy. Uh, it's a stage-managed uh, rules to draw attention away from the uh, struggling ANC leadership whose credibility is questionable. 
So it's clear that the SACP is stepping into limelight just to take a moral high ground for now. And once results are announced in 2019, the SACP and ANC would enter into coalition government. So in other words, they are just there to confuse the voters. Don't take them serious.